So today's topic of conversation will be about being good. I see a lot of people say, you know, I am good, I am this, I am this. You're not, right? This is the harsh realities of life, but the, the truth is that no soul is good except God alone, Mark 10, 18. Why is that? I am good. Think about that statement. I am good. You are telling me that you are the embodiment of what is good, which is perfection, everlasting aspect of it. And on top of that, it's never failing. It's infallible. You're not perfect. You would always tell me that what? That you are not a perfect soul. So how can you be imperfect, but be good? If an attribute of righteousness is perfection, and you will willingly tell me that you are not perfect, then how can you be good? Can't be good. You see how you are not good? So you can never ever declare the statement, I am good. What you can say is, well, I've been made good by Christ. See, when Christ lives in you, he makes you good because he is good. You see how it works? God is good. That's the reason why we say this statement. God is good because God is good. He is the embodiment of righteousness. He possesses all that is righteous and fruitful. We can possess that if we accept them into our hearts, right? There's Jeremiah 31, 33 tells you, I will be their God, they will be my people, and the law will be embedded in their hearts. The law is Jesus, right? He tells you that in the four gospels, I am the law of Moses. So Jesus, who is perfect, lives in your heart, making you perfect. See how, so you would have to say what? You've been made good, not you are good, right? Not I am good. You can never declare those statements. What you have to say instead is I've been made good by Christ.